Good evening, I'm Jim Huertas. How is everybody today? I'm walking a little funny. My leg was crossed over my other leg and it fell asleep and now I'm like a comedian with cerebral palsy. It's bad. How you doing, ladies? You're the brave ones that sit up front, huh? Oh, she's like, don't pick on me. Pull your shirt up then. Pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. There, good. Now you get a ticket. Oh, hey, that's later in the show. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a police officer. I'm a full-time cop. Have I ever given you a ticket? Uh, I'd give you a warning. You too. You're getting a ticket. It's because you have a dick. And I'm not gay. That's why I said, pull your shirt up, give me a warning. Yeah, that's how we determine that. I'm here to educate and entertain you guys. Not every cop would do that, you understand that. There's some assholes out there that are cops. Yeah, I am one of them. I'll admit, I like to have fun with my job. For example, I would fuck with you. I'm not going to tell you how, it's, it's, it's improv. It comes in spur of the moment. I deal with a lot of weird people in this world. 90% of the time I deal with 10% of the population. Which means since there's about 130 of you in here, I've probably dealt with three. You're like, that doesn't make sense. I'm not fucking Asian, I don't know, I'm a cop. I got C's in high school, why do you think I'm a cop? It was either that or work at the mine. Oh, 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 did I hit it on the nail? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna have miners after me. And not the kind I can bust for drinking. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. You probably got bees. Oh. Nobody likes cops, and that's hard on me. I have an ego, a very fragile ego. Nobody likes you like cops. How do you do it? I can see you out there. I give you a warning too. The one next to you though, he's like, wait, I gotta tell my PO I talked to a cop now. <laughs> no, no, not you, sir. I'm talking to DJ Dub there. Anybody with the name of DJ Dub? <laughs> you know, he's got weed. <laughs> That's all right. I think weed should be legalized. I'll be the first cop ever in public to come out and say weed should be legalized. Really? None of you are cheering for that? I got the only non-green audience in the world? <laughs> Holy shit. This isn't my jurisdiction, lady. I'm not gonna bust you. I don't give a fuck what you do. You're a cop. We can't tell you. I mean, you can do heroin in the bathroom. I don't care. It's not my, it's not my gig. Now, if you were having a heart attack, I'd give you mouth to mouth. <laughs> Ask for any music? I control this bitch. See, I'm practicing for my night job. <laughs> but I want to tell you, if you do smoke weed, you got to be careful, okay? Because in case you didn't know this, weed smells. It gets in your clothes, it gets in your hair, it gets in your baby. It, everything smells of weed. It reeks. It, it smells like you got stuff stuck, stuck in your pocket. Now, I actually like the smell of weed. I really do. But a lot of people don't. And what you forget when you're smoking weed because you're too fucking high is that everybody can tell you're fucking high. <laughs> oh no, dude, I'm just mellow. No, you're fucking high. <laughs> and if a cop pulls you over and you're driving a car, again, education, entertainment. You, you're driving a car and you're smoking weed, ma'am. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is not look at the cop. <laughs> License, registration. <laughs> and then I look at the car and the other three people are doing this too. That's a dead giveaway. Drunks don't do that. They don't. Drunks, you pull them over and they're like, eh, eh. How many drinks have you had, sir? Two. It's always two. Every time, it's two. Two drinks. Once, just once, I want somebody to be honest with me. I had 19. 
Because then I'll be like, damn, that's good driving for 19 weeks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> if you drive that shitty after two, you shouldn't have a license in the first place. <laughs> If you only had two drinks, you, 90 pounds, you're drunk. 220, you're like, yeah, I'm just getting warmed up. That's on the way to work. For me. 365 Vodka just came out with a new flavor. Glazed donut. <laughs> now I can drink at work, too. Oh, I'm just kidding. I've been drinking at work since I had this fucking job. If you had to deal with you people, you'd drink too. But not all of you, just 90%. See how I reverse those numbers again? Yeah. All right, I'll get off the stage. Listen, I want to tell you something, though. Here's, here's another little thing going around. How many of you are on Facebook and seeing this whole debate on this whole uh, Second Amendment bullshit, right? I want to encourage each and every one of you to go out and read the Constitution. I really do. And I'll tell you why. It has nothing to do with the Second Second Amendment. It has to do with the fact that every time I arrest somebody, they say, it's my constitutional right to have a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I had C's in high school. I even know that the Constitution was written 227 years ago. It was ratified 225 years ago. The Ten Amendments, the first, you know, the Bill of Rights, the first ten, were ratified 123 years ago. A phone wasn't invented yet. You do not have a right to a phone call, according to the Constitution. I am so fucking tired. It's my right! Because somewhere along the lines, they watch a lot of TV, and everybody says, here's your one phone call. If I'm going to be nice and give you a phone call, not you, sir, because you got that hat on. If I'm going to be nice and give you a phone call, you can have 15 fucking phone calls. But if you demand a phone call, I'm not going to give you one now. All right, I'll let you call. You're going to call him to kick my ass. That's what you're going to do. I'm picking on him. Listen, these two guys tonight that are coming up now are some funny guys. Funny, funny guys. I had the pleasure of competing with them and against them and losing to them <laughs> in the Big Sky International Comedy Competition back in October. I think you guys are going to have a fun time. Thanks for letting me warm you guys up. Have a good night.